Hey guys, this is Irie Starcraft, and I'm back to cast another 2v2, and it turns out I was wrong about there being another game with the same teams as they're almost the same teams as it will this time be Cami, the Red Zerg, and Protec will be the uh, Blue Protoss this game, and he will be going up against Aristeo, the Purple Zerg, and Qbert, the Teal Terran. So we'll see how Cami can step in because um, the last three games, uh, Protec and Cheese pretty much dominated Aristeo and Qbert. So when you consider they're basically the best team uh, on the European server, um, <clears throat> that is no small feat. So we'll see how Protec does uh, on Protoss as if, see if he plays a similar style to the way Cheese played. And if Cami starts playing similar style to how Protec played when he was Zerg. <clears throat> so obviously I don't think these games were played in a row with the other games. So we'll see how all of that um, pans out. And this game, uh, if I didn't mention already, this I believe this map is... This is Warzone. Yeah. So this game, or this map, uh, a lot of times if you guys have noticed, um, game and map... Or no, base and map, and even occasionally game, I get all mixed up. It's like one of those weird dyslexic things. It doesn't make any sense. And it seems like every caster has their own weird dyslexic like problem. That is just one of mine, as I will say base and map, like interchangeably, even though there really shouldn't be. And anyway, <clears throat> that is enough um, about that uh, digression. So uh, Cammy will be scouting up here and see that Aristeo going for looks might have been a late pool yeah it was a, a pretty late pool probably 12 or 13 we'll see um, how that will play out because you know how well yeah Cami already has four zerglings on the way and it will ch oh there's already two out and then four more on the way make it six out and four more on the way so there will be a lot of aggression and problem is that Qbert is going to have his bunker up so will Cammy be using, will he run right by the bunker, or will he try and prevent this uh, Marine from getting inside the bunker? He might be able to, oh, and the Marine gets inside, so these Zerglings are going to be a lot of trouble if they try and engage this head on, and so Cammy is going to fall back. He could have opted to run by and try to pick off maybe some reinforcing Marines, but no, he will be circling back around and possibly going after these rocks over here to start whittling those down as this bunker will only be effective for so long uh, because these rocks will eventually go down and as this is happening and we are building up as it looks like Protec will be chrono boosting his uh, warp gate technology I wanted to mention you guys um, I'm really interested in having a 2v2 tournament amongst a lot of the familiar teams that I've been casting and there has been some interest Protec is interested and so uh, if any of you out there who um, are some of these high level teams and you guys have been sending me games and stuff if you're interested in competing in a small 2v2 tournament where I would be uh, basically setting up uh, custom games for you guys to play against each other and it'll probably be three rounds like best of three so there'll be eight teams and I would basically live cast each one in that I would be I would be uh, acting as an observer in the game and casting and recording uh, as you guys play and then I would be able to I would come back here and post all the games from the tournament and it would be super exciting and I'm not sure if I have anything for a prize maybe maybe we can come up with some sort of prize but the bragging rights would be um, yeah the bragging rights would be a pretty significant prize unto itself especially um, when you consider that I will be basically touting you as the ultimate 2v2 team constantly and repeatedly on this channel not that I have a million views <laughs> but um Anyway, I think it would be a blast. I think it would be a lot of fun to have a 2v2 tournament uh, amongst all of these top teams, anybody that's interested. So it looks like... Anyway, enough about that. If you guys are interested, let me know. Uh, post on the channel, send me messages, and whatnot. So it looks like these backdoor rocks are going to fall. Cuber only has one Marauder back here, so there will need to be some major um, uh, unit movement over to this side if they want to be able to defend this as this Marauder is instantaneously going to die and uh oh Cammy better be careful because there are four Banelings on the map already for Aristeo and so Protec is going to have to try and focus down these Banelings. The problem is Marauders 
are going to be stimming up and focusing down this stalker. So some intense micro going on right now. Protag is desperately trying to shoot down these Banelings, but he's going to have to pull back from the Marauders. And Aristeo and Kubert defending this pretty well. As look at Aristeo, still has three Banelings left and a bunch of Marauders left for Kubert. But the pressure is going to continue as you see Protag is going to continue to warp in more and more stalkers. And we'll see if he opts to try and get Blink Tech. No, he's so far just going with the Forgate. He's going to be able to take out this bunker, with only had, which only had one Marauder in it. And now all these Supply Depots are going to fall. Marauders are coming up here, leaving them a little bit exposed are those Zerglings. But more and more Marauders coming in, more Banelings coming in. Protect shooting and scooting backwards, and the Banelings blowing up there. Cami, it looks like we had some Banelings versus Banelings, and a bunch of Zerglings are blowing up all over the place. Aristeo blowing up a ton of Cami's uh, Zerglings at the last second with that last Baneling. But Protec, meanwhile, is just shooting and scooting, warping in more and more stalkers. This is intense, intense battle right now, ladies and gentlemen. And the Marauders are really what's turning the tide for Cuba right now. But here comes some Zerglings trying to pick off as many of these Marauders as he possibly can. But look at the micro from Protec shooting and scooting his stalkers. Back and forth, and uh oh, a little bit of a miss, Micro, right as I say that, as Protex forces ran right through a couple of circlings. He did lose one more stalker, but the pressure is going to continue. It is going to be non stop. Concussive Shell is on the way, and that is going to make a huge difference for Hubert, though. So, got to be careful. Protex and Cami need to make this work sooner rather than later as Cubert uh, and Aristeo are just trying to buy more and more time here. And once that Concussive Shell finishes, which it just is now finishing, more and more Marines and Marauders are coming in. More uh, bunkers are coming down. An expansion hatchery at the front will be going down. Cami is morphing in four bailings. And Protec giving the go call. The custom shells are finished. So the, the micro from Protec will be much less effective now. As these bailings are coming in the front. Getting picked off so quickly by the Marauders. And Aristeo a little bit better timing on the bailings. He will be coming in here trying to blow up a bunch of circlings. Are going to get blown up there. And he's going to keep these two Banelings in the back. Uh oh, he is getting a little over aggressive with these Banelings as Protec trying to snipe that last Baneling down. It looks like he is bringing in more and more Stalkers. This is pretty intense right now as it is still anybody's game. If Aristeo can, if they can manage to hold and this expansion does go up, Aristeo and Cuber will definitely have the upper hand, but this Barracks is going to be forced to fall back. It is too close to the ramp. And still, though, with this one bunker in position, it looks like they may be able to hold. Again, Concussive Shells is going to make a big difference in this battle, and it looks like Protec and Cami going to take one deep breath and get ready for one final push. Is this the final push we're going to see as there are now eight Banelings on the field for Cami? More Zerglings are streaming in, a bunch of Stalkers and one Zealot in there, just for good measure. And here we go. Are they going to just try and straight up break this? Protec is going right for the bunker. And some Banelings starting to blow up. Cami's Banelings are blowing up on the bunker there. And that could have been a mistake because, oh man, those Banelings could have done a ton of damage to these Zerglings from Aristeo. But it looks like there's not going to be enough as Protec is shooting and scooting backwards. And now Cami with more and more Zerglings coming in. And Aristeo and Cubert are in a ton of trouble. This hatchery may have been a terrible idea as those 300 minerals could have come in very handy right now for Aristeo. And the GG is going to go down. Cubert GG's. And so Protec has just 4 0'd Aristeo and Cuber three times with Cheese and once with Cami and playing Protoss himself. So pretty well played. You guys can see how intense these games are just ridiculous, ridiculous pressure and micro. And Cuber and Aristeo did actually a really good job holding on that entire time. I mean, like I just said, maybe the only thing Aristeo and, and Cuber did wrong was. Maybe trying to grab this hatchery a little bit too soon because Protec was not going to let up. So um, a very, very exciting game nonetheless. And like I did mention about that 2v2 tournament, I'm interested in trying to set it up. It wouldn't be something that we wouldn't have to find a time where everybody can all play at once because uh, that's just not going to work. There's going to be too many people, too many teams, too many different schedules. But we could work something out where we can, uh, once the matchups are set, we can figure out what's a time that's going to work for both teams, and then we can just go ahead and do those uh, games and just slowly work our way through the tournament, and I will broadcast everything. I think it'd be super, super fun, and we can worry about details later. I just want to know if you guys are interested at all, any of you guys out there. So, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks, Protec, for sending me all these games. They were a pleasure to cast.
And that's going to be it for me. So thumbs up the vids and subscribe if you guys like what I'm doing. And this is Irie Starcraft and peace out.